All right, so check this out. I got a Larson BSA 450K antenna that I was going to use for GMRS. Figure this is 450 to 470 is what it says it is, right? 450 to 470. I figured before I cut it to the length that you know they say it should be, I'm going to you know, just do a SWR test on it, see where it's at. Well, turns out that the SWR on this bad boy uh, bottoms out around 435, and I'm like, well, how could that be? Because you know you got this 450 to 470. And it says, okay, the rod length, here's where you trim it to for the appropriate ones. And I was thinking it was nine and three quarters to start with since it's, you know, 450. But measuring the rod to the bottom of the phasing coil, it's about 11 and a quarter inches, just about. And that would make sense uh, given the specs we have here, the, the measurements for the frequencies. It's like 1.2 to 1 from 430 to 440 as it is out of the box so hey you know for him guys that would be pretty good uh pretty good if you want a single band antenna this is a 5 8 over 5 8 by the way and as pictured well it isn't there isn't a picture of it on here this is just a look a temporary mount to do some testing on the and tuning of it but as you can see, it's got a, um, you know, it's got the ground radial sticking out level. And they're not that, they're not turned down because it is a 5 8 wave, and you want them sticking straight out in the 5 8 wave antenna. It kind of pulls the, the the lobe down towards the horizon. If they're pointing downwards, it's going to send your gain lobe higher up, and you don't want that. You want that sucker close. Looks of good quality. I don't know if these are overstocks. I have found it on eBay. It's a nice mount. It's not very large. You know, the ground radials are quarter wave on GMRS, so it's not very big. I mean, you know, here's my hand, you know, six inch, maybe a little bit longer. So I thought that would be interesting to share for the hams out there. I shouldn't say ham guys, there's ham gals too. But it's a, it's a good quality antenna, you know, it's Larson. There's no, there's no tuning here. There's no, there's no, there's no nuts to change the, the length of the rod, so the instructions just say to, to cut at the bottom right here. And if I'm going to do this for GMRS, I was hoping maybe get ham and GMRS. I don't know if I'll be able to hit that. Maybe initially I will cut it around nine and a half inches to see if it, if I can get it around 452. That will be cutting off almost two inches. Of the, of the element it's a pretty significant cut you know you can always cut more you can't cut less I'm gonna take it and even though it's a pain in the butt to cut it I'm gonna do it in segments of uh, a little bit at a time so what I've decided I'm gonna try to do here is I'm gonna take measurements at different lengths uh, I'm gonna take measurements at 435 445 449 462 and 467 the, the bottom element is 11 and 1 8 inches. As you can see right here, I'm probably going to go to 9 and a half next and see what it looks like. Um, see, if it, see if I can make the spread between ham and GMRS. I probably cannot. And I may not want to do that anyway because the best performance for power out is at the lowest SWR. Anyway, I'll, I'll do one cut at 9 and 1 half. And then I may do another cut in the eight inch, no, eight and eight and a half inch range. Let's see what that looks like. All right, so nine and a half will be. Uh, let me flip this around and do it a different direction. I'll cut the wrong end off here. I'll be hurting. Whoa! I go from here. That's the direction. Say to measure from there, and right at. Nine and a half. We'll cut that off right there. And as you can see, it says do not cut the upper rod. There's the phasing coil, so you measure from the bottom of the phasing coil to the end. So measure twice, cut once, and we'll try nine and a half.
Okay, this is just for testing purposes. Excuse the skinny coax. Trust me, this is just for testing. So there's this one set screw whoo, on the wrong side. There's one set screw right there for the whip. And these elements are seven inches inserted. They're about almost six and a half, just a, a hair shy of six and a half inches. So it's a, it's a small profile antenna. And that was the appeal. <coughs> HOA world we have to think and make things not uh, not very visible so I'm just gonna stick on this mask to tune it just to get it cut so cut nine and a half inches that means that we should be probably bottom out between 450 and 455 looks like let's try um, Try 445. 445. Let's see what it looks like. 445 was 1.29. 449. 449. Oh wow. 449 is one on the money. 1.00. That is nice. Where are we at here? So 449. That means I probably don't need to cut it as short as they say, maybe a, qu a quarter inch off. So my next step was going to be, what was it, eight and a half inches? Eight and a half would be between these two. Should I stick with that or should I go with eight and three quarters? Just, just go test the uh, higher numbers. I'm sure the SWR has been pretty high. Let's go up to 462. Hang on a second. And I'm actually going to try 462500. 462500. Two, roughly. I'm going to try 467500. 467500. 4. Ooh, owie. Okay, so it's pretty decent on 462, but it went off the chart 467. So we got to, yes, we got to cut some more. Okay, so my results, I, like I said, I forgot to measure before I cut. I had 103 on 435. I cut to 9.5, and, and I got 129 at 445. 449, I got 1. 2 at 462. 5. 4675 4.14. I'm gonna do eight and three quarters. See if that's sufficient. I don't want to cut too much off. I realize it's more difficult to trim a tiny amount. I'm gonna to have to get a grinder out to do that. But I can't put it back on. I can take a little bit more off. So here we go. Here and eight and three quarters. That's three quarters of an inch. That should make a difference there. Okay, let's do 462, see what it looks like. 462, 500. 462, 5. 1.03, awesome. And let's try 467, 5. 179. Okay, I'm gonna run up there. I'm gonna loosen the set screw and I'm gonna raise the element a hair and see what it does to it. So once again, let's go back and see you know what 4625 does 4625 does 103 okay i'm back raise it just a knot maybe a eighth a quarter inch don't have a whole lot of play there 127 okay good and the 467 245 wow okay so what that means is that i can lower it some more and i'm going to Okay, just for grins. Oop, just for grins, I'll measure it one more time. Looks like I'm right at eight three quarters. I'm gonna try to take an eighth off. Okay, looks like I took one eighth of an inch off. I'm gonna go up there and test that. Well, I guess I forget about ham for this since it's too far of a spread for a good SWR. 462, 462, 105, 104. Okay, 462, 5, 467, 174, 
didn't really change anything. Can we call it the same for eight and three quarters and eight and nine sixteenths? Either I measure a little bit off or didn't have it insert all the way, whatever, but you can get 103 at 4625, 4275, 174. Or should I cut it some more? I should cut it some more. All right, cut it some more. Let's go for the uh, 5 eighths. See what it looks like. Although I'll probably end up at eight and a half. I'm not sure why I'm looking with the small stuff, but so we'll back that sucker back to there. Okay, there we are. Five eighths. All right, we're back. Four sixty two five. Four sixty two five. One on the money. Oh, 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 oh yeah. And four sixty seven five. One point five two. One point five one. Five three. Okay. I'm gonna go for one one five. I'll do one five two split difference. Okay. So five eighths. One zero zero one five two. So this curve is uh, interesting. The curve must be something. Must be have a nice flat bottom, and then when it takes off, it starts taking off. All right, I got it. I got. I got to get the top part down some. So I'm gonna go to eight and a half. Now eight eight and a half on here says it should be about four sixty two is the bottom. Eight and a half. So it's not far off. Well, I took an eighth off. Some of my markings for eight and a half disappeared. There we go. One more little notch off the top. Okay, eight and a half, eight and a half. I think this is gonna be my last cut. All right, eight and a half inches, four, six, two, five. It's still flat. That makes me happy. Four, six, seven, five. One point three, two. Uh, one point three, three. Wow. Well, I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, so the results show that. The instructions are stinking accurate. So eight and a half inches, it's still flat. Um, still what, five eighths, seven sixteenths and a half is still flat SWR. And at the higher range, it's coming down quite a bit. And they're, what they said is pretty accurate. I mean, they said 462, basically oh, eight and a half, and they're right. So, at least with mine, I could just use the chart, cut once and be done with it, depending on where you want to go. Eight and a half, or do you want to take it eight and a quarter? So I guess apparently if I cut another quarter off, I will be in the center of the band. All right, well, this is the final, uh, not final, this is the final testing location. It's only about 15, 16 feet in the air. It's in the clear of any metal. And if we get the ladder down, it's just gonna be the, the pole that's on. It's fairly unobtrusive. I mean, it's shiny. Uh, I hate to paint it, but most of my th stuff is painted camo for uh, concealment. But I think with these trees around here, it'll probably blend in pretty good. Enjoy. That's how I tuned this antenna and time to play with it, see what kind of range it gets.